first interview as a force as a quartet mm. no. how does it feel surreal you're going to get take credit for this aren't you well i'm not going to take entire credit no i'm not going to take entire credit but i did say to you didn't i you know what on my dream x factor panel this year you would have robbie william you've got to get louis t from 1d you did but i never predicted this i mean nor did i nor did i <laughs> so how did it come about it happened well partly because Ada and Lauren are best friends. And then we left it so late, because I like doing that sometimes. And then Every year. Every year, <laughs> but even later this time. And then we just had a couple of conversations, write some very large checks. Like, <laughs> I'm not talking huge, we're talking vulgar huge. Um, and then we all got together. So, Robbie, what twisted your arm? Because, come on, you've been asked to do Genuinely. every show yeah. every year. Genuinely, it was the Ida card. Mm. Ida got a, com uh, got a call in the car from Nigel, the producer of the show, yeah. and said, do you think Rob will do it if you do it too? And instantly I was like, oh, that makes complete sense. I'm totally in. Could we just have the second answer, which I is mean sort of along the lines of, I've always wanted to work with Simon. And <laughs> <laughs> do you know, the amazing thing is, since starting to do the show, is I can't believe I haven't done it before. I'm having the best time in show business that mm. I've ever had, full stop. I've been doing the wrong job for 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, Robbie, I think you're going to be brilliant because, of course, you are the man behind X Factor's most famous ever contestant, Honey G. Honey G. Honey G. Also, I was mentor to this fella and his group. Yeah. And I was mm -hmm. mentor to Oli Murs. I'm not saying that it's totally down to me, <laughs> the success of X Factor and the British music industry, but it's close. <laughs> and then, Louis, for you, this is a return home. I've always been a massive, massive fan of the show, obviously. I've got my career to thank for it. I can picture myself being there, not delivering the best first audition, but being a bag of nerves. Neither for you, how much of a change is this? Because obviously you've been involved in the entertainment industry, right. but now you're gonna be mentoring these right. acts. It's completely different because it's the music industry versus the mm. acting industry. But I've been so involved in Rob's career and I've, I've had to kind of pick him up and dust Whether him I've off. Whether I wanted to, her to be or not. Against, <laughs> I can imagine. Ex that's what I was about to say. <laughs> against his will, I've been mentoring him for 12 years. I'm a creative soul, Rob's a creative soul, and, and meeting other creative souls that are following their dreams is really exciting. Mm. I feel really, privilege to get to be in a position where I could maybe help someone's dream come true and I can be a part of their journey and that's really can, exciting. Can I say something? Yes. She's been annoyingly really, really, really good. Amazing actually. Yeah, no, but me to the point that, yeah. where I'm like, I felt like Louis Walsh halfway through the show. I'm the invisible one. Are you missing him? Sometimes you just got to make a change mm. and a radical change. I always say the best panel is people you would like to have dinner with yeah and that's where we ended up how does this panel compare to the previous lineups that you've had on the X Factor I can't compare it it's a new show it's the only way I can describe it I don't like to hype things up because uh, people will make their own minds up when they see it but it has been the most fun I've had in years it really does feel like when we first started off